Hello everybody, welcome to the last week of Grand League 2024. We are having Lamo Kid versus Mr. Kinch today. I'm joined by Borealis. Hello everyone. And yeah, uh, week five, we are heading into the finals. Um, so the stipulations for this uh, is pretty simple. We're going to Railroad first. Uh, Lamo Kid with a very good uh, lineup with Matt Gren and the rest. Um, while Mr. Kinch is, uh, I'll, I'll never liked it uh, seeing that Matt on second, but we'll see how that will pay off for him. And yeah, uh, stipulations are pretty easy. Uh, Mr. Kinch, sadly, due to his loss to Voxy. Uh, is out or already and it is, it is now up for Lama Kid to basically um, take a must win to, uh, to secure himself a more a better positioning in the table. Uh, currently even a 2-0 victory wouldn't even guarantee him the uh, qualification. He would be up with uh, three maps won in the direct contrast like in the comparison of maps lost maps won. So, yeah, let's see what he will take away from this. Uh, or if maybe Mr. Kinch can throw one last wrench into the uh, machinery. Well, what I'm hoping for anyway is that both are best, uh, independently of a situation. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's a good collecting uh, already for Mr. Kinch. Um, Lamo Kid is today playing in light blue due to color coordination and oh no okay let's, let's see tnt who says it for some reason oh no that blows minds yeah the uh, uh, can see was probably already oh no mines oh okay i think by this point uh the people have caught on uh, that there is a minefield uh, right yeah, in front yeah. of that very building. Yeah, you would think that. But, uh, maybe if you're in the zone, you can kind of forget about that. But um, so far, healing up the medic. Um, bit of a missed opportunity. And of course, a bigger missed opportunity is getting medic on second, and getting first turn, and still getting Momart. Uh, well. That's that's like the perfect example why I would never go with a medic second on this kind of map. The uh, railroad is very basic, has a bunch of crates, small minefield, and uh, these other useless green things here. <laughs> uh, nobody knows what they do, but uh, oh well. And Lamo is looking for his next target. Thought he was gonna go for the grenadier, but. Wouldn't be really happy, uh, really uh, body block friendly, since there's nobody around there. So he hugs the gunner and goes for the sapper, it seems. And goes for the uh, safer option in this case, simply because of the range. Hmm, it's a fair, fair, uh, fair move. However, I still feel like at the highest level, You'll never see a grenadier get rid of all three cluster grenades unless something seriously goes wrong. But uh, yeah, if you're really unsure about hitting that target, uh, clean 50 to 60 damage is very much preferable over a messed up cluster grenade. Yeah, let's see what Mr. Kinch can do here. He is going uh, for not the... going for a body block anyway. Uh, no, there would be a sniper right there. I'm not quite sure about the order. I think um, there's even two scouts, so... Yeah, two scouts for... Okay, letting it drop at least. But mm -hmm. I think no use. Yeah, Most, this was the perfect example of why sometimes high explosives can pay off. If you're very unsure about the uh, 
terrain. But oh well. Yeah. Okay. Collecting the last uh, crate on the map. Yeah. Not um, much. Both guys have done their homework on collecting those. But yeah, the placement of this grenadier was okay, but unfortunate poison there. Yeah, bit of a um, unideal positioning there. Um, now let's see what the uh, sapper will do here. Should be an easy TNT or something coming up. Or maybe even trap mount. Ah, I think. Hmm. It's definitely thinking about it. We haven't seen too many crazy shrapnels from ground level, which is fine. It's definitely an advanced technique. So, and the simple TNT, sometimes it's just the most easiest choice. Yeah, but I don't uh, understand the placement. Uh, because yeah. there's a minefield in the very outer direction. Could have aimed a bit more towards the minefield, get him into one-hit kill range. But... Uh, yeah, this is just gonna cause simple damage, nothing more. And I think uh, if this keeps going like this, then Mr. Kinch might be on the back foot, so... Maybe he needs a mistake from Lamo right now, or... Uh, maybe he needs a big hit. Oh no. Hmm... Is he trying to use that barrel? I think he's yeah, I think he's trying to bounce him towards the other barrel there. Not quite sure. Uh, body blocking the uh, uh, there though. Yeah, that's a good choice. Um, he just had his turn, so and there's like the building all around you, so really hard to avoid hitting your own pick there. Now the gunner. It's probably the easiest target choice here, Grenadier. Let's just see, a bit too far, that looks better to me. And send it? Maybe? Oh, even closer, even better, I would say, yeah. And, oh, you can hear the oh, blimp. Yeah. Even a bit short, but uh, still, 41 damage. Good try. I'm all taking his time thinking about what to do next. Um, with two scouts, you have, of course, the most poison heaviest opportunities. Um, getting a bunch of skips. You can even avoid that body block there by just shooting the enemy pick. Or just go for a poison on the grin. I think uh, I, I confused the names right now. Hmm. Well, Amos, uh, playing in Sky Blue, coming from uh, San Marino, uh, due to the flag. It should be very yeah. recognizable. Makes sense. And. That's the Ooh. weirdest thing. Goes for a double poison here. Now, this would be a good opportunity to get some split up damage to the enemy medic. Power is right here, so that's two jetpacks. And uh, this Para also has a TNT. So, uh, best case, you could even get him very close. Especially even with the has heavy. Mines. Yeah, mines and heavy machine gun could get him very close to the uh, minefield and get an insta kill. But focusing the grenade is not a bad call. If he can get a kill right now, which. Yeah, he's on 61, just a TNT now after that jetpack. And it's easy going. Yeah, and that is exactly what he's going for. Other what? Yeah, we are placement, but the damage should be enough. 41. Yeah, okay. 
And that's the first kill here. Yeah, good job getting the grenade out, so damage potential is uh, damage output is definitely reduced. And Lamo really didn't help himself here by poisoning his medic as well. It's also no way to um not quite sure if there's medicine boards dropping in on that building. No, uh, I don't yeah. think uh, it's... At some point, um, mines, I think, dropped first. I think that's what just dropped. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then an Airbus, then later a rocket launcher. What? All the mines! <laughs> you can see he was uh, rec uh, immediately realizing that that green patch is uh, no good for him. And, uh, yeah, also with the kill in the Grenadier, MoMA Reverse is very hard for uh, Mr. Kinch to pull off now. So the MoMA will probably fully develop and take shape. And since uh, Mr. Kinch hasn't brought a single scout here, it's very hard to deal damage to the medic without um, hurting his own. Uh, this... Uh, uh... Aura? Mr. Kinch's Grenadier will take another turn. He definitely will. He will have one more turn than um, the Grenadier of uh, Lamo. So, let's see, placing a mine here. Right onto the building. Gets back in. Let's see, what's he focusing? Oh. Getting a turn skip out of that power is probably his target right now. Also damaging the Grenadier, very good. I mean that para was uh, still very healthy. I think it only took uh, a poison yet. Yeah. yeah. This is not the right target. He has two scouts here you can damage easily with a good... Um, you can even get go for a body block on that other guy standing there. He just had his turn. And uh, no, no, this is the worst one. <laughs> you know, I would even argue that you could just full, go full ham on the uh, medics that are body blocking, so you can just uh, de delete that advantage from uh, from Lamo. I mean, at that point, is it even an advantage if both uh, productively just didn't take any uh, turns? Ooh, that was a yeah, that's that's a true call. But that was a spicy explosion there. He got the sapper down. It's only three picks left for Lamo, and it's two guys, two scouts that could can easily make use of body blocks. Oh, so. uh, mines. Yeah, okay. Is this uh, a position that can easily? double poison though oh it should it should at least he can yeah it's uh, th th i think it's possible you need to position position yourself very specifically like you can i think you even need need to make use of the boots there as a small bounce back let's see it it kind of looks good uh, it's too far to the to the right but you'll at least get the grenadier maybe oh nice bounce there that that was very nice, yeah. I wasn't expecting the uh, the wall to like bounce back the uh, canister so 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 far. Like all the time, we see grenades and uh, poison canisters like glitch through walls and behave very awkward with buildings. So it was like the most normal reaction um, I've ever seen. Oh, uh, is this uh, Scott blocking this entire place? Place now. Uh, I think he could, technically. He can collect... If he does, that would be amazing. He can collect the crates from... Oh, but he's below 25 XP, so jumps aren't that good. He could maybe collect the crates from down below, but let's see if the TNT doesn't even would do damage. Uh, oh, uh -oh. my god, okay. I mean, it's nothing that he can't fix with the uh, mines he has with the sapper, uh, para, but, um, yeah. 
But that was uh, definitely not what she intended to do. <laughs> exactly. Especially since the mines are pretty much uh, uh, the only thing he can use to uh, uh, get the, rid of this. Unless he wants to waste a turn entirely. There you go. I'm well, showing off how to collect the uh, crates from <laughs> below. And again blocking. Or like getting at least the heal in. I think it's just the heal and then back to the Roma. Or not, maybe. Mm, I, let's see. We just had uh, Mr. Kinch take his turn with the sapper, so the gunner is next. He's probably good, just going for the kill here. Not sure. The body block on the gunner is not going to help him yet. <laughs> well, it was a try, I guess. was the only pick and range it. Yeah. So... Oh no. You definitely want to focus the medic now. He will just get his free heals, free... Negative... Free airburst. Yeah, for the airburst. You can also... But I guess... Uh, that looks short. Yeah, that is way short, yeah. Way too short. Maybe the extra pellet will hit him. But... That's about it. Oh uh, my. It's just self damage. It's weird. Um, thinking he. Because he had had about the same range on that other mortar shot, and he did quite well with that. But uh, I guess it's just inexperience. M mortars, you just have to practice and get a good feeling for it. Yeah, they're just uh, very hard to keep. Uh... To get consistent. Oh, you have a mine. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And uh, at this point, um... although I'm not sure why he's placing it next to the pick that just had its turn. Yeah, it's a good call. I... You you do want to get that para, but you can't kill him right away, I guess. So I think it's just damage at all overall uh... that you want to deal now. Yeah. Okay, very close, but good damage. Yeah, good last second shot, and at this point, it's pretty clear that Lamo is definitely in the lead. He, unless Mr. Kinch now uses the mine on his own guy, he will definitely but see. But all of his guys are definitely. Uh... Yeah, that's the oh. problem. Um, he still has this medic, but I think Lamo will make sure that. He won't get a turn next, uh, like, okay, but at least he gets rid of this skip. Oh no, oh god, okay. He needs to stay in the building somehow. I mean, he could get around there. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't see this. Okay, wow, he just got out of there with a the jump. Could've, I thought he would get stuck, but uh, got on him. This should do your damage, right? Yeah. So, let's see what we run into next. Maybe Lamo can uh, go on a skipping spree. The medic is definitely hurt enough for that. And this uh, grenadier as well. Oh no! Oh, this is a big mistake. Now the medic can just heal him. Uh, the medic is strength. Ah, he's strength. Never mind then. In that case, that's perfect, perfectly fine. <laughs> Wasn't aware of that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so I was thinking of maybe there's an out here from Mr. Kinch, but the uh, poisoning and uh, all that is just too much at this point. Okay. Ah, there you go. All that for rocket launcher. I mean, it's uh, this medic's uh, best weapon right now. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Oh no, the Everest. <laughs> ah. And yeah, sure. Why not go for a simple damage? Um, that misses. Ooh. No. Was close. 
But yeah, now everybody will just get skipped. It's the, uh, the gunner next. So simple. What does he have? He has all the tools in the world for this. Okay. Maybe. I think you should at least uh, target the paratrooper first, though, because uh, that one has its turn before the orderly. I mean, he Ooh. could have just skipped this guy, head jump and a knife, and then the. Uh, you can. You just need to shoot the medic. Uh, the. Uh, no, where's the power? Yeah, the, shoot the power with the sniper rifle. He skips and then shoot the. Uh, the medic, and it's all over. But, uh, all right, the Zapper's dead, so he only has uh, those 40 weapons. This yeah. is also way, way, way short. It's, uh, it's short, but it won't hit him itself, but it will get some it damage. It was. He corrected it uh, right after I said that. Yes. Okay. So we will be seeing a win here on the first map for Lamo. Um, yeah, not from that position. Unless the tree saves? No. Not this one. Um, yeah, very good place. Very good use of poisoning in the end. I'd like to see a bit more efficient use of them in the mid game, but. You can just kill this guy uh, because. Yes. Like... Okay, fine. So, yeah, we are warming up for a cold map. Uh, second one. We are going to a Field Hospital, and Lamo Kid will have first turn advantage there, so stars are aligned to give him a boost in the uh, group table. So let's see what he will make of it. So we are on the second map, Field Hospital, uh, with Lamo going first and going with a medic on this one. Um, it's the uh, bridge the gap equivalent of this season, new version basically. So, yeah, a bit weird to pull two uh, sappers, and I mean I haven't seen a game on this plate yet, but uh, maybe there's a way over, I guess. Um, yeah, you can just uh, walk up uh, on one side of the cliff. Yeah, uh, yeah. As far as I remember from the uh, pinstripe mod, uh, there's there's a pathway on the uh, left side, side yeah. respectively. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So two sappers works really well. Uh, I found at least uh, one of my. Hmm, okay. Especially on forty-five seconds, you you definitely have the time to move in. You can make uh, appropriate use of the shrapnels here. Okay. Uh, with uh, all the tents and pillboxes uh, all uh, scattered all across. Yes. So just resetting for Lamo first turn. And there you go. So, yeah, we're looking at the table again uh, before the. Uh, first map we had uh, Lamo on third with six points and a uh, map difference of plus one. Mr. Kinsh had three points and a map difference of minus two. So the only way, uh, yeah, uh, Voxy had a. But what? What is happening? Oh, not quite sure. Moving around, collecting crates, I guess. That looked. Uh, I don't know what it looked like, but it looked... Did he uh, avoid crates? I was kind of focused on the other screen. But anyway, this still looks uh, in sync. Very yeah. much. Uh, it would be funny if it wasn't, but... Yeah, 16 damage to the... Uh, tent. And clean 40. Yeah, and as I said... um. Mr. Kinch already down and fourth would have to catch up to second uh, with a plus four, which is of course not possible in the single map. Um, <laughs> and uh, Lamo now looking to get a 2 0 to maximize his opportunities to qualify. 
Oh, Mr. Kinch, uh, for the time being, uh, stealing all of Lamo's, uh, Lamo's crates. Yes. And getting back. <laughs> okay. Interesting maneuvers here. Yeah? yeah, and he will not have enough time to do anything. That, I think, was a waste of a jetpack. Yeah. I mean, you... I've never seen this map before, but that feels wrong. Uh, it just... Yeah, invading here I would probably also oof. Have, oof, very min maxed uh, dropping there from the jetpacks. Yeah, get the um, have crate, get the pillbox, maybe get the crates. I think uh, retaliating on that front and uh, stealing now all of Lamos crates uh, is the way to go. Taking the second pillbox now uh, is probably also. Uh, although I'm not too sure about this uh, target choice. Doesn't hit him, just slightly above. Needed to adjust the angle, and it's it's funny that um, we haven't really seen, as far as I can re recall, um, uh, on Rich the Gap, anybody crossing over to collect all crate, crates, but... Uh, it definitely can throw a wrench in your system if you're relying on those crates. Like if you pull a lot of uh, scouts and sappers that rely on the mortar crates that are there. So, uh, interesting. Wait, what is... Ooh. Okay. Not even getting the pillbox done. Yeah. Okay, that was uh, weird. Getting... Uh, Shortner, you could just throw them at the normal angle and just explode it next to them. Yeah, how much HP do they have? 100 or...? Uh, 100, yeah. Yeah, that is... They're in one shrapnel is definitely enough. Yeah, you just need the 30 and uh, three extra hits. And if you think about it, I think uh, shrapnel explodes in every uh, direction of, like, northwest, southwest and any, uh, anything. So, uh, eight, uh, overall eight uh, pellets. So hitting three of those directions should definitely be possible. Oh, not today, maybe? Huh? Not, not along there. I think uh, if he gets there, the best of it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's as uh, last second as you can get with that jump. Um, and now we get more health crates and the uh, uh, Ravi. Hmm. Okay. The pillbox is left at 34. Oof. Yeah, he had a 26 and uh, two extra hits in that case. But yeah, it's done now. Um, didn't do any damage, but now it's uh, not a threat anymore. And yeah, it's interesting. The health crates definitely animate also to move around the map and just stay defensively. Uh, what do you think? I feel like, uh, especially uh, Lamo has been acting quite aggressively this match, uh, this map. Yeah, I mean, it, it pays off. Even if it wasn't that effective. Yeah, uh, even though still, like, if you're collecting a 20 and do the normal amount of damage, it's and it's like you're getting armor. Oh. And, uh, now he On wants the topic to... of armor. Yeah, he wants to get in there. Oh no! Doesn't get it. 17 on the building. Ooh, At least no self damage. It seems like a ve very dangerous spot in terms of out of map or out of bounds kills. The original bridge they get, there's a small patch there, but I'm um, not quite sure it translates on this one. But uh, I am very happy to see uh, healings going strong. And. Actually, it's now an opportunity to go for a moment, but he doesn't. I don't think that was a... <laughs> yeah, probably just want to get rid of the weapon and let's look for a target. Hmm, okay. 
I don't think that's the worst choice that could have been made because uh, Lamos uh, medic is currently safe in the pillbox. Yeah. Uh, on this side, and to make it over there, he really just has to uh, waste his entire turn or oh, most of it. Uh, 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 why is he so close? <laughs> that uh, that can backfire, I think, like the walls, so maybe not this time. Oh, the blimp! Not the blimp again. does it again, not and the again. shot looked good too. Yeah, we just had that happen in training. Um, might have been a bit short, but oh my god! Okay. Oh god! The big guy as well. Um, yeah, and he can like can't get the double hit, but he can get the pillbox and the. Well, what? Uh, yeah, he canceled what just that happened? one. Yeah, he canceled that one. We can we can just get in the building. Like we we rarely get to see this being used in a building, or if ever. So, well, then I would at least go into the shelter at the bottom of that. Yeah, at least try to get two shots on the gunner. Uh, let's see. Okay, a little I bit. I think it will. Yeah, at least a half a hit from that fourth one. Let's see. Yeah. I see! Two hits. And this is down to 18. Hmm. Next question. Maybe he should have just focused a bit more on the gunner. Uh, one shell is enough to basically put this pillbox out of commission. But uh, Yeah, I think now he is going to uh, get rid of the drank uh, because this pillbox is near useless. Yes. It's a long run, but getting rid of uh, the trank definitely seems good, a good idea. You can also use the... Uh... Oh, lucky bounce as well. Yeah. It will be interesting to, uh, how 30 seconds can utilize those bounces and everything. And... Uh, what? Oh. What? What was happening there? I'm not quite sure. Maybe he was arranging for the building, but... Oh. Or maybe the track last second. Very good. Very good time management. So. Uh, and there yes. you go. Healing items. Always coming in clutch. Especially this time around. Very good use of them. And very. You can see it really paying off that uh, Mr. Kinch dropped. Uh, got them. From the other side. No. I mean, Lamo did the same thing just uh, from Mr. Kinch, right? So yes. Where's the big difference of just collecting them from your own side now? Uh, quite sure. Oh my. This could take. Oh no. Uh... Okay, this will bounce him towards you. Some extra damage as well. Bit of a body block going on there. And, uh... hmm. Interesting. What a this big... is a very interesting uh, situation up there. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to handle that as well. You can just go for easy damage on the other guys. I think uh, the best thing for Lamo is just to wait, because both of these picks just had their turn. Yeah, he also has the healing still ready to go. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Um, yeah. Hmm. I would consider maybe like a shrapnel in between those two guys, because they're that close to each other. Probably Jim up there, taking his time. Nope, already used up. And this is not the way. This is the way. I mean, it is a way. Yeah. Just not a way. Can go. Well, let's see. Maybe some normal shrapnels, please. Looks good. Oh. Not getting it. Just at the edge of the uh, that box, 
And uh, it's just not enough in that case. Now, whatever it is with that Zappa, you just should not get close to whatever that is. Yeah, um, there's already three of his guys grouped up there. Fourth one would basically end his game. I'm not quite sure. Uh, nah, I don't think you can out of bounds him. But maybe you can get him closer to the. Uh, I guess not. I think that's also used, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is also used up by the um, Astra guy. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, some just simple damage. Not quite sure why he uses that technique of placing the TNT, but yeah, this guy is like the perfect opportunity to get some double or maybe even triple poison in on that group there. Did the uh, strike guy, uh, was he uh, already damaged or was, was a, he full health? I think he it was a gunner, but I don't think he was damaged that badly. So... Um, Overall, I think uh, before that repositioning and uh, healing of the trank, I thought uh, Lamo was going to put it around, but now it seems like Mr. Kinch seems to be a bit in the lead. Honestly, I, I still don't know because Mr. Kinch uh, oh. still has a similar problem. <laughs> okay, very good double. I think he was even going for a uh, quad there, which he could because he can still heal his own medic with the uh, para so uh, wouldn't even be wouldn't even have been a bad sort of poison but um, the damage here to be fair um lamus uh, para also has the uh medicine ball yes um good reason for for uh for mr kinch to get in the damage quickly to Get his, get the uh, healing items as early as possible away from him. Since there's no skip going on, he definitely should be able to. Yes, move around with the medic. Um, who? It's uh, it's a tough call. Let's uh, look at the lineup again. We have the medic here. We don't have a kill yet, I believe. So. Um, Working out like this, it should be the gunner of Lamo next, which is on the other side of the map. And then it's Medic and Para, so... Thinking about that, definitely should take out the uh, Medic first. And uh, in the meantime, maybe get Skip in. Or just a double hit here. Uh, no, wait. Now that I think about a double hit, it's like the worst thing uh Trank would have definitely made this more surefire way of oh. what? Hmm. Oh interesting. So enough that gunner was damaged. Yes. I'm not quite sure how much they can heal. I think I'm thinking forty seems reasonable, but um uh fifty for the tens with fifty I think. Oh okay. And the mesh tents I don't know. Okay, flamethrower for safe 30. Damage output hasn't been the best here. I think even a, just a normal bazooka would be a better Ooh. call. Um, I don't know about that angle, though. Yeah. I mean, this will hit maybe even his this own guy. This looks like it, uh, it's both of them, yeah. Very close, though. Almost hits his own guy. It's these guys grouped up as well a little bit. Yeah, it's a tough call. Um, at least he gets the poison away from the uh, para. Now Lamo really needs to nail those tranks. I think the next pick is um, his uh, para, right? He still has a medicine ball? Let's see. Uh, after... Lamo. After Mr. Kim's medic, it's Gunner and then Para. So the Gunner just had his turn, and it's not, yeah, exactly. The Para next, he still has one healing item. 
Well, the good thing about uh, MoMA right now is, of course, that uh, it will heal the poison away from the other medic, most likely. That guy is full HP, so no use here on healing. You will just set up itself hit. Oh my! Um, yeah. There was a bunch of healing done. Uh, all the poisons that were established are gone. And uh, yeah. Big miss there from Mr. Kinshovo not using the tranks on any of those two. Um, he could have, if he was a sure fire, uh, sure that he could have made the um, medic skip, it would have been fine with just not using the trank, but now it's still both guys alive and you're eating a double mortar, as it looks like. Very good. Well, a little bit shorter up. Yeah, it's short, but uh, no self damage. So, overall, fine. And they stay together. That's. Uh... That's yeah. definitely good for uh, Lamo. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Lamo getting back in the game. He uh, will also have his... Well, he won't have his medic go first over the other one, but... <laughs> yeah, now it's a bit too late for that damage. Also, uh, this guy will be on 12 HP. Unless maybe he will die to water if he gets down there. I think uh, that he drops down there is... Uh... Okay. He is down there, but no water damage. And it's up first now. Yeah, and still have crate here to pick up. I don't know if I would risk not getting the triple hit uh, for 20 HP. Wait, what? Yeah, I think he's missing out on that. It's going to the pillbox, I guess? Still long range 40 in this one. Um, yeah, also it uh, has uh, 18 HP left. Yeah, but I I think it's um, all the damages. No, that won't hit more than one. Yeah, it's only one if, if at all. This looks very tough. Should be good, though, for this guy. I think it drops uh, to the very end, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, very nice. Oh. Watch this... me be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it does have a bit of a range, like, compared to Square Off. Um, what? You, you definitely have some difference in terms of um, range. Like, the pillboxes are closer to the uh, opposite edge of the map. Whereas in a square of all the pillboxes are right at the edge of the map, so that's the difference uh, there. And goes okay, for a simple kill. Okay, that's a lot of wasted damage potential. It is. This guy's out now. Um, drops some crates, although no healing, just mortar, I believe, and. Uh, with... But there aren't the worst weapons, although. Uh... We'll see what are, what else is in there. Okay. Oh, we're oh. still a medicine ball left for that guy. Okay. Wherever I do not see a very big use here, and this is very good for him. Could uh, maybe place a TNT far the, further away so he doesn't hit the shelter. Just hit him. That's I big... don't think uh, he can reasonably manage uh, that. Yeah. I think just run away oh, uh, in this situation. Yes. Yeah. Second best call, basically. Uh, we'll get maybe some extra damage even from the shelter explosion. No, not this time. From the water, I would guess. Yeah. And this water. I think is... that's okay. Yeah. Almost on 50 something. Uh, so. Good news of the and Of course, there. this uh, this now definitely loses out on this damage. And then I think now it's definitely time to take the MoMA. It's right there. Oh no. Okay. Oh well, this game's done. Uh, 
I mean, the medic was right in front of him. I don't know why he's not going for him. In terms, he will just miss this shot. Um, and that's the end of that. On the topic of missing the shot, oh, 077. It's a full that's... heal. Wow, okay. That's a lot of healing done right there. Okay, maybe he was. Damage away. didn't even get damaged, I think. Yeah, this is a full range mortar, maybe. Let's see. Looks good. Looks very good. And yeah, if it wasn't game before, that seals it. Tiny bit uh, of self damage. Yeah, but okay, this guy's a 40, simple sniper hit. Other guys on 8. No, just take care of the uh, medic and the. Uh, what's that? The scout? Oh, sapper. Yeah, it feels like. Uh... It feels like um, uh, Mr. Kinch has already given up, kind of. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't able to qualify even if he would have got no win out of uh, this game. So you can see maybe he was oh, a bit down for that. What? Well, it could be fine. It's about the same height. So half map. Half, yes, exactly. Half bar, maybe a bit too much even yeah but it's enough and extra water damage here and oh my this these spins Quite a bit too yeah these spins are not fun if you get down there like the water is very much like the coast is uh as you can see checker tiles and a very edgy yeah so it's almost like that small river on uh over the top, where you just swim down the old straight, take a bunch of damage. The water can act funky in these maps. I know, I don't think uh, head jumps will do any good on that guy. Orderly is still looking very well, though. Yeah, definitely get this guy tranked. Let's see, is he next? No. Sapara. But and... this time there's nothing. Uh, uh... Uh, Mr. Kinch can do uh, to prevent that trank to take effect. Yeah, tools are out. Um... Oof. But Mr. Kinch using his third jetpack uh, once again to traverse the map. Yeah, to be fair, it's. I think that was maybe the only way to get here. Maybe running backwards could have made it, but yeah, he's going for the only shot he's got left, which is fully heal this guy. Uh, I think that's only Helios for 50. Okay, let's see. If the tent uh, survives that, that up. Yeah, it should be pretty simple. Um, maybe, maybe you can even just throw a shrapnel from down here, but you can also just run there with the TNT and end it for him. Still time for that, but um, he doesn't really have any other... Oh god. Uh, yeah, he still has some uh, time left, but there's no other really big priority priorities right now after the medic has been tranked. So yeah, let's go for a long range trap. Okay, let's scout. Uh, scout. Uh, Sapper, of course. And we hit something. I think there was the bridge with one of the pellets dropping down. Yeah, we have seen at least uh, one kill, right? The uh, scout uh, by, from Mr. Kinch died. Did yeah. someone else die by this point? Uh, it was one kill for the para. That... Uh, died in the trenches, basically. Okay. Let's see. Can get some extra damage here. Oh, wait. Does it even maybe block the damage from the TNT? Yeah. It's just a 20 in that case. Oh, it was. Ah, right. Yeah, if he would have placed it on top of the building, he would have gotten extras. Maybe even an out-of-map. Um, that's very close there, and 
uh, an extra bounce will catapult you very much, uh, very far away. But, yeah, I don't think that will make the big difference right now. Time to get rid of that mesh tendon. It's pretty healthy. It's, it starts with 80, yeah. it seems. Yeah, it starts with 80 and... Uh, got to 116 since... That guy's dead! Yep. No more healings for him. Trank is setting in. This is the first and only Trank in this game that had effect, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Can't recall. Ah, we other. still have two Tranks in the game. Yeah, and I think Lamos not gonna miss his chances with those. Um, yeah, so it's all just now down to reducing HP, getting it done. See some more skills here setting up. Definitely takes its time. It's too far, way too far. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, maybe a bit more. Yeah, it seems good. Forty-five. Very nice. And, and slide down. Yes. At least this map is a bit balanced in terms of sliding down. There, you don't get. Uh, instantly drowned in the water. There's some flat surfaces there all around, so to really get into the water you need to be specifically put into a certain ledge or just straight up TNT into it uh, as the other scout was. The uh, other scout? Yeah, the Don't, green Didn't the green we scout. only have one scout on this map entirely? Yeah, the green scout. Basically. So, it looks a bit too far. It will definitely self-fit. But it will deal good damage on him. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, the shrapnel deals damage. Yeah, but the, that was so weird that the blue medic didn't uh, it did take damage. But the green one only with the shrapnel afterwards. Yeah, that was weird, but the uh, uh, mortar was really, really... Oh. Yeah, red, very nice shot there. Still, I can see the end game healing here from the medic. And Kinch's pigs are way too hurt at this point. Oh, and no trank left for this guy. Yeah, oh. only uh, Mr. Kinch's. Two trains left. That's interesting. I feel like it's too late at that point. Um, you still have that very healthy gunner on the other side. I think that sapper is full HP. So, oh. and also a very nice short range shot. Yes. Oh, and he will. Nope. No slipping down. <laughs> so, yeah, at this point. Uh, I think most players would rely on shrapnel doing the magic. Some 70s, 90s, 110s. Yeah. But, you uh, say that as if it's so easy. Uh, it's it's not, but uh, it's the only way at this point. Oh, we can get some good water damage out here. I mean, I guess this is uh, one opportunity for water, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he isn't even on that high HP, so uh, if it's placed well, this could still be a kill. Looks fine. At least 50, so... And maybe a bounce here. Fall damage. Ah, but yeah, bounce right across the water. Stays on the water. Um, yeah, no poisoning opportunities left. Yeah, so I don't think the medics will have that great of an impact anymore. Maybe this guy will die right here and there. Yeah. Yeah. Quick swim here. There go the last two trains. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Some extra swims, okay. But he should be fine in terms of movement. He's took water damage, so he's not on the very slow speed 
of walking. And yeah, anyway, this guy is on 40, and the uh, other guy is on, what, 39. It's basically only two really simple moves. Two snipes, two TNTs, two bazookas, whatever. Yeah, something like that. Um, okay, honing some mortar skills. Looks a bit far, but should still hit nonetheless. Yeah, this should be good. Ah, the zapper is, I think, a little bit uh, higher, right? Let's see. Yeah, maybe even a bit short. Looks even a little bit short. Yeah. Hey. It's weird. I can't, I can't really judge uh, these. When I do these shots, I always judge them based on like how long I press the input, like feeling it as well. It's not just looking at the uh, the graphic and being like, okay, this should be it. It's, it was, uh, I think, a small homage to X by Shrapnels, but uh, definitely did not pay off there. So one extra move left. Yeah, that was weird. Lamo uh, angled the shrapnel down. Yeah. Um, x by I think, does the kind of some something similar. He always uh, adjusts it uh, slightly bit down. So the San Marino guys sting strong together. Well, this is another kill. No more mats. Not that I would have been needed anymore. Yeah. Let's see what long range shots can do here. Oh, he will just close in and do a safe one, maybe? Yeah. I mean, getting this over with. This map was long. Yeah, it, I mean, it's bridged the gap basically now with heal, so it is <laughs> bound to take some more time. Um, definitely a uh, map in your, if you draw this map, you definitely need to make sure you don't get fatigued at the end of this uh, map, if you have any others left, because it will be a long one. That's only the sapper we're left with, uh, probably the worst arsenal I've ever seen. Yeah. Nothing, nothing fancy here anymore. Um, so this will be a two-zero victory for Lamo. Uh, definitely. Is it drawing this out even longer? Oh wow! Okay. Well, that's just a flamethrower or something. Um. Yeah. Uh, then again, uh, two-zero victory for Lamo. This will be, and uh, this will put him two points. Uh, well, it put him at nine points and into second place with a map difference of plus three. And Vuxi is competing with him for the second place. He's uh, still has a match against Welsh guy, who um, sadly have to uh, say uh, didn't have won a single map yet. Um, so it's looking like a good victory for for Vuxi. But uh, that match is still to be played. So, uh, yeah, it will all come down to that. If Voxy can take a 2 0 victory there, it will be uh, uh, over for Lamo, basically. So this oh, might, wow. He's might... just. Yeah. He's just staying in place. Um, yeah, but overall, I think Lamo definitely showed some good promise here, even if we will not make it. Uh, well, we, we will find out in the other map, but in, even if he might not make it, still some good plays here. We'll be happy to see him again in the next year, if it will come down to it. Uh, it's all eyes on uh, Vuxi versus guy in Group A for the final map, which, which I think will be a double upload. So um, we guys might know what will happen, maybe not, uh, but uh, this was it for today's match. So, yeah, overall, very fun to see these guys play. Very fun to see the new map, maps being played. Um, but, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we will see you in the next video.
Bye bye.